Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Nitlook with your host Nitin Nair. It's been a while since we talked about the Aztec civilization from Mesoamerica and I figured that it is high time that we featured one of their most famous gods that we all know of and has inspired a lot of different theories with regards to the Aztec civilization and its history. This is Quetzalcoatl. The name of the deity Quetzalcoatl comes from the Nautil language and it means precious serpent which is a reference to the serpent that is associated with the god. Quetzalcoatl was a prominent deity in the Aztec pantheon and he was related to various phenomena such as the planet Venus, the wind and the sun and was also the patron of the Aztec priesthood. Aside from these, he was also associated with other gods such as Tlaloc, Huitzilopochtli and Tezcatlipoca. In ancient Mesoamerica, Quetzalcoatl was one of the most important gods. He was known for his role in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. His name combines the now two words Quetzal and Quetzal. From the years 1200, Quetzalcoatl was regarded as a patron deity of merchants and priests in central Mexico. He was also known for inventing the calendar and was associated with various animals such as the opossum and also the morning star Venus. He discovered a mountain full of seeds and grains as well. Following the arrival of the Nahua-speaking tribes in the north, Quetzalcoatl's cult underwent significant changes. During the Toltec era, his temple was the center of ceremonial life in the city of Tula and the culture emphasizes war and human sacrifice. Aside from being a plumed serpent, Quetzalcoatl was also known as a man with a beard. He was depicted as Ehecatl, the wind god, and he wore a conical hat and a mask made out of tubes. Quetzalcoatl was known to have a flower, a black and yellow feathered fan, jade earrings, and spiral shells inside a hat band holding sacrificial implements. He was also known to wear a cross-section of a pectoral that was made from a conch wool, which was in fact a wind jewel called Ehekaila Koskatl. He often wears black, wears a red mask like a duck's beak and has long canine teeth. As a god of the cardinal directions, he was associated with various colors representing each of the directions. There are various stories about the life and times of the serpent. In one story, a virgin named Chiamalman is said to have given birth to Quetzalcoatl after the god Ontiol appeared to her in a dream. In another story, Chiamalman conceived Quetzalcoatl after she swallowed an emerald. In yet another story, a man named Mixcoatl accidentally shot an arrow into her womb and nine months later, Chiamalman gave birth to a child who would later be called Quetzalcoatl. One of the stories states that Quetzalcoatl was a child of the god Quatliku, whom we have talked about earlier on our podcast, who had hundreds of children. According to another version of the myth, Quetzalcoatl is one of the four sons of Ometecutli and Omisihuatl, the four Tezcatlipocas, each of whom presides over one of the four cardinal directions, are his brothers and they are uh, the white Tezcatlipoca, who is Quetzalcoatl himself, the blue Tezcatlipoca, who is Huitzilopochtli, who once again we have covered on this podcast, the red Tezcatlipoca or Shripetotec, and the black Tezcatlipoca, whom we know commonly as Tezcatlipoca. It is also suggested that he is the son of Shoki Quetzal and Mixupotl. He was known as Kulkulkan to the Maya, the Gukumats to the Quiche of Guatemala and Air Cattle to the Gulf Coast Westings. Quetzalcoatl was regarded as a patron deity of merchants, priests and scientists. In the Nahua tradition, he is also the creator of the universe and the creator of humanity. Quetzalcoatl was regarded as the creator of the calendar and books as well as a protector of goldsmiths and other craftsmen. He is said to have gone to Mictlan with Zolotl to obtain the remains of the dead and was also the symbol of death and destruction. 
those bones that he collected he anointed with his own blood giving birth to the men who inhabit the present universe in an alternate form of creation Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca worked together to form the first man the rain gods and the sun when they were created they transformed the snakes and ripped apart the reptilian creature known as Sipakli whom we have also covered on this podcast over the years Quetzalcoatl has been represented in various times in media like video games manga anime comics and in television The official airline of Mexico also has a special plane depicting the god on the exterior. As you can see as we go along on this journey with Mythlok more and more characters who have connections to other characters are coming forward and we will remind you if we have done a similar episode before so that you can go and check it out yourself. We will be focusing on a lot more new mythologies in the days to come. and we request you to like subscribe drop in a review or even just share this with your friends so that they can also be tuned in to the world of mythlog which i would like to remind you once again is the world of mythology